What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, I have another exciting unboxing to dig into for you guys. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, do me a huge favor hit the thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone really helps get these videos pushed out there to more people. And feel free to let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So, let's break into this guy. I'm not 100% sure what this even is. I think it's something I ordered, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. So let's find out here together. And yes, it is something I ordered. Uh, Trivisa guys, uh, they have been just doing a great job as far as i am concerned we're using the real steel evolution if you have not seen that video highly recommend going and checking that out this is one of the best knives of the entire year so far so this is something i decided to pick up because i've seen a lot of good things from trivisa they have been very impressive uh with some of their various stuff and now i remember what this is i was just going to say i don't even know what i ordered but i do know what i ordered this is i'm pretty sure a brand new model from trivisa and the reason i ordered it is because they are now doing a crossbar locking knife of their own uh can we get a name on this thing somewhere <clears throat> this is the Vela, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, if not, sorry about that. So we do have a nicely centered blade. And we have some very nice micarta for the handle material here. Micarta backspacer. We have a stone washed. And then I believe this is 14C. 14C 28N, which is a perfect combination wow in my opinion uh 14c stonewash blade micarta this is one of the best user combinations edc combinations in my opinion that you can get uh not only does it look very good but it's going to perform on your day-to-day -day tasks very well micarta is going to be very grippy very comfortable in hand uh so micarta is you know when we're talking about knives under you know 75 bucks maybe even a hundred uh micarta is my go-to and then of course 14c is going to be my go-to pretty much anything under 80 bucks uh is going to be my go-to now if we go into the hundred dollar price point if we got titanium and 14c all day long i'm with it uh 14c guys is a fantastic user steel uh i love it so the combination of these two together is in my opinion one of the best affordable user combos that you can get uh this does have a cutout that you can use the thumb flick and you can use the reverse flick as well and Trivisa guys has some of the best button lock action on the market. Uh, they have very, very good, strong springs in their button locks. And that's kind of what led me to pick this up was in hopes that that kind of translated into their crossbar locks as well. The flipper tab is a little light. Uh, it's not horribly light, but it is a little lighter. If we are talking about just the cutout though, this is definitely more tuned for the cutout. That feels extremely good when we're talking about the cutout there. The rear flipper tab, it's not bad. It's just a little light. Now we do have a lower mounted clip here, which should be very comfortable in hand. It's not going to carry the deepest. Let's get our issuing stitches, Hank, out here and see. So it will have a little bit poking out of the pocket there. But uh, the thing about lower mounted clips such as this one is that they are very ergonomic and it gives you the ability to get this knife in and out of your pocket very easily. So that is 
you know, the reasoning behind that. This is not meant to be a tactical knife. You know, I get comments from people who say, you know, that knife is going to be poking out way too far out of the pocket for me. You know, I, I don't need something that is shouting, I have a knife in my pocket. Well, you know, I can understand that. And there's definitely occasions where I feel the same way. Very few occasions, though, do I need to conceal that I have a knife. Uh, most times, it's not a big deal whatsoever. Uh, more often than not, I would rather be able to get to it quickly and pull it out of my pocket uh, than have to dig for the knife because it is, you know, an ultra deep carry. There's cases for both, and I have tons of knives with both, uh, but you know, to to basically eradicate one or the other, I think is a big mistake because you're missing out on a lot of good knives, in my uh, opinion. Uh, you know, to say, well, that ain't deep carry. I'm not going to get it. You're going to not this knife in particular, but I, I think you're missing out on a wide array of knives if you really do that to yourself. Uh, really limit yourself in a way. I do love this blade shape, and I do really like that stone wash finish. Trivisa is a company that I believe, at least this is what they have told me. I'm not sure, you know, why I'm still buying their knives. Uh, I mean, I like them, uh, but they are very hard to deal with. Uh, so if I want to check something out, I just pretty much pick it up from them at this point. But uh, they, you know, I don't know. They've sent some stuff in, but they're, like I said, very uh, hard to deal with. So something like this, I just pick it up and I want to check it out on my own. But uh, this is a cool design. I like the blade shape and I like how the handle kind of flares down back at the tail end. And then we have that nice micarta backspacer. This thing is ultra comfortable in hand. That pocket clip you do not feel that thing at all. It really lands right in a perfect spot, at least in my hands. Uh, that lands in a very good spot. So I basically don't feel that clip at all. Wouldn't have mind seeing the jimping run out a little further on this guy. Uh, as you get down here, you know, you don't got nothing there. Big deal, not really, but it would just be a nice touch. As far as the crossbar lock is concerned, there is some nice protrusion there on that crossbar lock, so it'll be easy to get to, easy to disengage. The springs are nice and strong. It's very weird, and I've ran into this before, run into it before, where uh, it was actually a CJRB uh, button lock. The thumb studs were amazing. Then you got to the flipper tab, and it's like there's nothing there at all. Now, not that there's nothing there at all with this one, but it is a little lighter. Uh, so it's weird how that works. I'm not quite sure why or how that works because based off the cutout, they're nice and strong. You get to the flipper tab and it's a little bit lighter. So, and I would say most people probably won't use that flipper tab anyway. Most people are going to thumb flick this out or reverse flick it out in my opinion. Let's go ahead and check that edge. So we got a nice piece of magazine paper here. And I'm going to do a group video of the Trivisas that I have uh, still in my collection. Because they do a great job. And they typically, and they're getting better. Uh, the, they're getting better micarta, better finishes on the blade. They've been using 14C for a while, so I have to assume they do that very well. And the last I looked, I'm pretty sure they do have like a 59 to 61 or 60 to 62, which is just great uh, on the uh, 14C. And this thing is razor sharp, nice and sharp. Right out of the Bizox, baby. Yeah, nice edge on this guy right out of the box. Now, the other question is going to be, is that lock going to be durable? 
Now before we do a little lock test, I always like to make sure it is centered right out of the box. Do we have any pivot lashing? No. We don't really have any. Typically with a crossbar lock, there's going to be a little bit of play, but there's or none. Uh, and there is none in this case, which is good. As far as lockup is concerned, <clears throat> there's no up and down. And there's no side to side. If I wrench on this thing, I think I can get it to move a little tiny bit. Uh, but at that point, I'm just moving the, you know, I'm moving the pivot around. But it's, uh, it seems to be locked up pretty solid. So pretty good from everything that I've ever felt. So let's see and check this lock and make sure it is good to go. We have positive lock out there. Nice little pounce. Positive lockout. Good, good. One more. It's good. Good job from Trivisa. Uh, you know, just because it is a crossbar lock and should be holding up under duress doesn't mean that it actually will. But in the case of this guy here, uh, this is a cool knife and these are going to be like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. Uh, so very good. All things considered, I do wish the, the springs were a little stronger, either no flipper tab or make the springs stronger. Um, they're very good for the cutout. Very good. Um, if they were stronger, I still think you could use that cutout very well. And then, you know, if they were stronger, that flipper tab would work better. So, therefore, you know, and it could, it'll vary from model to model. Um, you know, this could easily be just mine. Uh, it could be that the next one definitely has a little bit stronger springs. That's definitely a possibility. Um, but... As this thing sits, the cutout, which is how I'm going to use this 99% of the time, uh, works very good. So really, I don't have much to complain about, but since the flipper tab is there, it'd be nice if the springs were stronger. If this was not here at all, it would look a little bit better than it does, but then you would have nothing. There, the springs would be perfect for this thing. Because uh, you can get a nice, solid wind-up on this, especially in that reverse flick. That cutout is nice and long, so you can almost just ride that all the way up and shoot this guy out. So, yeah, this is a, a nice little piece from Trivisa. You guys will have to let me know. Do you have any experience with Trivisa? Uh, what knives do you enjoy from Trivisa? I love hearing from you guys about these new knives just coming in. So let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that, guys. If you're new here, we release videos just like this one every single day. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the little bell. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I'll throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one.